this is Rob, and today we're going to talk about something new, and it's called a uh, faux needle turn applique, but it's actually not really faux. This is a one I'm going to do a small quilt using Baystone Adepta Sitars from Laundry Basket Quilts Dancing Umbrellas. I cut my shapes out using my scanning cut. I used a product called Sulky Paper Solvy. In some areas it's sold as Guterman. And this is the Sulky. This is the old label. This is the new label. It comes in packs of 12 sheets. They're basically 8.5 by 11, but they're water soluble paper. You can put these in a printer, print your shapes out, cut them by hand. Uh, you can use my scanning cut, or if you have a Cricut or a Silhouette or any of the cutting machines, you can use those. You can use templates, you can use whatever, and it's basically paper. But the beauty of it is you can use it for English paper piecing, applique, is it's water soluble. So you do not have to remove the paper. So it's fantastic also for English paper piecing. Uh, this fabric I'm going to use for my accent pieces for my umbrellas, which are these. I have my handles, which I have a wood fabric from Moda. I have tips, and then I actually have the umbrella shapes here that you use. And so what we're going to do for this one is I'm going to show you how we're going to cut out. And here's the other fabrics I'm going to use. This is the wonderful wood fabric I got from it's from the Moda and they're going to make, make fantastic umbrella handles and tips and then this is going to be the body of my umbrellas which is a fabric I got from a small shop in Paris called Saju and it has all these little French uh, stamps on it which are really great. And I have this, and I'm going to split it between this light blue and pink. And then you have this wonderful fabric here, which has Saju à Petite Peri. And it's a nice little border print, but it's going to make great little pieces. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn our fabric over. And you can see the wording through the back. The reason I'm using my uh, Ulfa is this is my old mat. My Martelli is underneath here. Uh, is because I am using my Sky, my Kai number 11 scalpel to cut these shapes out. And I will show you why and how great they work. So. Take and we find our word here's Saju right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take famous Elmer's glue stick in purple. I love the colored, and the reason is as long as you see the color, the glue is still wet. So you can work with it. So what we do is we take our little shape and we put it on here. We smooth it all down. Give it a second to dry. And then what we're going to do is we're going to rough cut this fabric with your scalpel giving you a nice seam allowance 
and it does not have to be perfect. And I'll show you the reason why. Uh, here we go. Okay. Got a little piece to cut out of here. There we go. And you can cut this with scissors. You can do whatever. I just was showing you this uh, because. It's unusual and it's different. So, we take it and for our curves that go in, we want to. Clip our edges so that we can get a smooth curve. And then our next step is what we do is we take where is my glue book here Kimberly? is we take our glue and we do the edges like this and then we take and we fold them into our shapes. And like I said, this purple is great because as long as it's purple, you know your glue is still wet and will stick. So there we go. And we hold it down till it's good and stuck. Then we take and we do a little bit more. And then we take and turn these points. And you can use a cuticle stick, a chopstick, or a stiletto or anything. I'm doing this just really quickly. For the camera because you can spend a lot of time getting these perfect and uh, there we go getting these shapes just perfect and then we do our last side And like I said, this paper is water soluble, so you leave it in, and then when you wash your quilt, the paper basically dissolves and goes away. And what this allows you to do is have nice finished edges on your applique. And in the olden days, it was called needle turned because what you do is you take a little bit and turn it under and then stitch it down, turn a little bit more under. But this was done quickly. And there you go. A finished piece. And it's ready to be sewed down. You can sew it by hand. You can sew it by machine. And you could actually sew this with an embroidery machine. I hope this, everyone has a great day. And I hope it helps you. And this is faux needle turned applique. Talk to you later. Bye.